What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with a new release, uh, Omnibus from Marvel, of a legendary title. I would say probably one of my favorite covers of all of the X-Men series. There's a lot of great covers for Omnis, obviously. But I think this one, to me, takes the cake, and we are looking at Uncanny X-Force. And it has that legendary pink cover. Again, one of my favorite. Every time this one came out in the whatnot as an out-of-print book, People bought it up like hotcakes. And can you really, I mean, do you look at this. This is the standard. Look at the beauty of this, this cover. You got that pink contrast with the black and white of the costumes. They all look so scary. Like, seriously, this is a mutant death squad you would never want to face because all of them can bring the pain. And uh, they're the best at it. I mean, you, what you got, Deadpool, Wolverine, Psylocke. Uh, you have Nightcrawler, and then, uh, of course, Archangel. That's a that's an insane team to take out any any sort of threat. So, amazing cover. I'm glad that this is now reprinted, so those who haven't been able to get it can get it now. And if you didn't get the standard one, I'm sorry. You, you know, I, the standard is far and above the better cover of all of them. So let me show that to you. Here's the front spine. And the back, just the colors, just the, that gray and pink combo has such a nice, uh, like, complimentary theme that it just looks so good. Oh, my gosh. This is the DM right here. Front, spine, and the back. Now, the DM was supposed to have, like, this artwork bigger. That's what it showed in the first pictures that we have or the previews. But for some reason, they made it small. And I don't like it. Like, I feel like this takes away from the full picture or the full effect. So if you didn't get the standard one, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm not going to lie. The standard just blows the DM out of the water easily, easily, far and above. So let me show you both spines together. Standard right here. DM on this side. Very cool. And let's take a look underneath the dust jacket. Look, this, this DM got damaged here, so that's the one we're using. This one, I can't, I have to send this out. Like, people, we're, we're, like, right now what we got, we have to send it out, so I'm just very careful with that standard cover. And then we have this, oh, look, like I'm telling you, look at these colors. The colors they picked were perfect for this. You got that, like, gray and a little bit of that pale pink. Mwah! I'm going to call it brain matter pink because these guys will rip your brains out. Oh! Can you imagine if that costume, the Wolverine black and white costume, would have come out in the uh, Deadpool movie? That blow my mind. Very cool. All right. So let me also show you the binding on this one so that way you can see. People always, uh, you know, they want to see that. I'm going to show that to you. So I'm going to just go through the different pages from the beginning all the way through. It even has the gray on the, on the binding right there on the cloth. Looks good. But yeah, like I said, Legendary Omnibus always has been out of print. People always buy it when it comes in the whatnot. And now you can get it because it just came out again. It's being reprinted. Get it. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Uncanny X-Force. Yeah. Boom. Get into X Force. Oh yeah, black theme all still coming along. Very nice. And here is the creators and contributors to the book. Thank you guys so much for this amazing uh, story of Uncanny X Force. And you know we appreciate you guys, all the artists on here. Uh, the build on this is standard Omni quality for Marvel. Semi gloss looks great. You got these nice rich blacks colors pop out really well this one does not have any numbers on there so you're going to get the full art on there love that uh, and let me tell you a little bit about this run by Rick Remender <clears throat> could you kill a child to save the world that's the dilemma faced by the reactivated mutant hit squad as Rick Remender puts the uncanny in X-Force 
Assembled in secret to do the job too dirty for the X-Men, the team's members have their morals tested like never before when faced with a reborn apocalypse, and their actions will cast a long shadow in this modern classic. Wolverine knows more than anyone the need for this type of unit in a world in which being reactive can prove too late to save those you love. But will he be prepared when it comes to time for his hardest choice of all? Archangel, the original X-Man once transformed by Apocalypse, has his own reason for keeping X-Force going. But with his greatest enemy returned, will Warren be strong enough to resist the monster inside of him and fight his dark destiny? Sarlacc has suffered much, even for an X-Man, and found the strength to battle on. But as Warren, the man she loves, battles his own demons, Betsy will face even greater trials. In whose arms will she find comfort? Deadpool strives to be a hero that can escape his destiny as a killer. That can't escape his destiny as a killer. Will X-Force finally give him a chance to be both? Uh, Phantom X. Yeah, Phantom X is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an assassin. But will the diabolical man with three brains be X-Force savior or its damnation? As the ramifications of their moral choices become clear, they will face Deathblock and an army of superpowered cyborgs from the future, journey to the horrific Age of Apocalypse, and suffer the judgment of Betsy's angry brother, Captain Brendan, in a war-torn otherworld. And as a terrifying new brotherhood of evil mutants forms, X-Force will witness where the path they have started on will one day lead the world. An astonishing array of artistic talent, including Jerome Opina, Estad Ribic, and Phil Notto join Rick Remender in an epic exploration of the ethics of execution. Very cool. Again, this this run is 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 highly 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 claimed, uh, critically claimed. Yeah, highly claimed. Uh, everybody who I know has read it love it. And you know, Rick Remender always does a great job of telling a good story. And I think this one would not disappoint. Uh, this is definitely on my wrist, my my uh, my list to read. I think now that it's out, I'm probably going to add it to this year. I have to finish it this year. But if you've read it, let me know what you think about it. Are you definitely going to buy this since you've been waiting for it forever? You let me know. Uh, okay, let me show you some of the extras that are included in this one. I don't want to give too much away, you know? Got to keep you on your toes. Okay. Here we go. Nothing on this set. Okay, we got the Uncanny X-Force number one variant. All right, X-Force, Wolverine, X-Men, Generation Hope, uh, X-23, and Daken. They combine to make this one massive art piece. Do you have that? If you do, will you sell it to me? Because I want it. All right, here we go. The uh, Architect Sketch variant, and then the Architect's variant right there by Mike Dodaro Jr. Very nice. See, this would look better just like this. Make this a big one, move it down a little bit, put the X-Force logo, put this on the back of the dust jacket. I would have loved to see that. Make it worth it. Uh, then we have Uncanny X-Force, Wolverine and the X-Men, X-Men Legacy, and X-Factor all together make this one. Do you have these, all these covers? If so, will you sell it to me? Because I want it. Uh, this is the Uncanny X-Force variant. Very nice. Here's some script pages and... The script, the color, all the way through. Very nice. More scripts right there. Some more uh, colors. All right, artwork all the way through. Very nice. And the history of X-Force right here, as you can see. Wow, that's really cool. So if you want to get like more kind of like, you know, what came up to it, this is what you want to get. And Dark Forces and Black Ops. Very cool. Oh, nice. Another one all the way through of the pencils. Nice. Yeah, so you get you got some pretty good extras on here to see, like, just kind of the process of how the book was made, the artwork that came into it. Of course, stuff like this, like the future X-Force. Right there. There you go, guys. So this is Uncanny X-Force. The Omnibus. Let me know which cover you got. Uh, and uh, if you want more, you know, check it out at Organic Price Books. Let me know. And I will see you in the next one.